Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Corazon Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chair cover like this. You can use it for a wedding or any special event. And this is a no sew chair cover. Let's get started in making a no sew chair cover. What we'll need to get started is a pair of scissors, a garbage bag, some stick pins, fabric fusion, and you can find this at Michael's or Joann's, even Walmart. We also need a ruler or measuring tape. And the two fabrics I'm working with today is sequence fabric. And you could see how nice and pretty that is. Very shiny and glamorous fabric and some sparkly tool. I bought both of them at Joann's fabric as well. This fabric here is 45 inches wide and so is this fabric. They're both 45 inches wide. This is a yard and this one I bought two yards. The first thing we want to do is take the garbage bag and cover the back of the chair with the garbage bag. We'll use this to make a pattern, the shape of the chair, and then we'll use that to cut the fabric for the chair, the back of the chair from this pattern. Now we'll do a measurement. From the top of the chair to the seat, we have 19 inches. And from the seat to the bottom of the chair, we have 16 inches. So what we want to do is be sure we have about 20 inches. We want to give an extra inch for the sewing, for the gluing. That would be the hand. So we're measuring 20 inches from the top. And what we want to do is make a straight line across the marks that I made. And these marks represent 20 inches from the top of the bag, which would be the top of the chair. We're gonna make a straight line. Then we'll cut along that line. After we do that, then go ahead and cut off the excess from the side of the chair, or the side of your pattern. Now that we have our pattern, 20 inches in length, we're gonna go ahead and cut off the sequence fabric. And we wanna cut on the full line. The reason you wanna cut on the full line is so we don't have to do a seam at the top.
and you don't want to include this piece in your pattern so you just go ahead and cut that off and this will be a very very easy pattern to cut the only thing we have to cut is the very edge at the top and both sides. And we're going to cut it double. Like I said, the fold line means the fabric is going to be doubled because we need one for the front and the back of the seat cover, the top portion. So we're going to follow a pattern and put it away because we're going to reuse that pattern. And by the way, the extra piece of fabric can make another seat cover for the top of the chair. But we're only making one today, but this can make two. And the next step is to take your tool fabric measure it and I want to create three tears for the back the bottom of the chair and I've pre-measured it the first the first layer will be about 10 inches the second layer will be about 14 inches as you see I measured it and then I took a warm iron and I folded it I made a crease where I'm going to cut it. That way I have an even cut. And the last one is about 17 inches. And whatever remain, remaining fabric that we have, which is about 2 inches or so, that's going to be used to tie the bow on the chair. So we're going to go ahead and cut along the lines. And the final piece for the bowl, we need 60 inches. So we cut this in two. And that will be... That's 35, 36. And 24 is 60. So we're going to go ahead and cut, cut off the excess. And then we fold it evenly. Fold it evenly. Cut it and lay it aside, and that's our bowl. The next step is to take the tool that we have cut and just begin to fold it. Fold it, and as you fold it, you pin it. And we'll repeat that step with all the pre-cut tool.
when you fold it you want to make sure the folds are very close to each other as best as you can The reason for folding them closely is because you want to get as much as poof as possible from this fabric. So I folded each tear and I secured them in place using the stick pin. So now we'll set that aside. And we start working on the top. What you want to do is turn the top inside out. And we're going to use the fabric fusion and apply to the right side of the fabric. We, we're going to do the, the top and the sides and we leave the bottom free. Once we get to about five inches from the line and the side, the straight line, that's where you insert the bow. And you want to be sure you put the bow on the inside. glue that along the line. Five inches on the straight edge and that's where we'll glue the bow. Now that we have applied the fabric fusion, we're going to close the seams. carefully and evenly. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Now we'll glue the other side. We'll do the same thing with the other half of the bow. Add about five inches on the straight line. We glue that bow in place. Normally the fabric fusion takes about two to four hours to dry. Once we have that in place, the next step is to glue the tears to the top of the seat cover. Now that we've glued the sides, we're going to apply the tears starting with the largest one. We will apply the glue to the top portion of the tear near the stick pins. You want to be sure that this is 19 inches across because that was the length of the bottom. We'll attach the second layer of the tear to the bottom portion. Just lightly press them together so they can fuse. We'll apply another layer of fusion
and add the top layer, the shortest piece. Once that's done, once that's done, then we'll apply a layer of the fabric fusion to the bottom of the top portion of the seat. Press them all together. There you have it. We let it dry for two to four hours. And then we'll come back. So a seat cover has been drying for about four hours. And what I did, I went ahead and I placed these bowls along the seam to prevent it from lifting up. So now we're gonna remove the bowls. And just a reminder, whenever you're working with anything like glue or any type of abrasive products, you wanna protect your table so you can put some cardboard or plastic. And now we're gonna remove the pins. So all the pins are out. And here you have it. The bottom tool is fused to the sequence top of the seat cover. Now we're going to place it on the chair. So here's the final product. A very stunning chair cover. And you can use this for your wedding events or any special event. If you prefer, you can just make your bridal chair with a fabric just as beautiful. This is a frontal view of chair cover. At the beginning of this video, I showed you an ivory colored seat cover. I'm going to put in the description box where I purchased those fabrics and how much I paid. I was able to make a total of 40 of those seat covers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching my channel and come back and visit us soon. Thank you.